Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm so excited to share a little bit of my PCOS journey with you this afternoon. And this is something that I'm so passionate about sharing with friends and um, other family members that may be affected because this has been um, a really hard um, disease that I'll be living with for the rest of my life. So I'm excited just to share uh, a little of my journey with you. Um, it all starts around um, around age 20, um, I was experiencing really painful cramps. Um, well, I guess this was this was before that. So about age 17, 18 when I was in college and just to where I couldn't even get out of bed to go to class sometimes. So my mom suggested that I go see an OB and of course she immediately just said, oh, we'll just give you some birth control pills. No problem. That should fix everything and get you a regular period with not so much pain and, um, and heaviness. So um, I did that. That continued for about the next seven to eight years. And did that thinking I was doing the right thing, uh, didn't question it really. Um, I decided uh, to change that um, a little while later, and I'll tell you more about that, but um, ended up getting married in 2010 to a wonderful man, and we decided to wait a couple years before starting our family, and so I continued on the birth control, but um, really decided that I was ready to be a mom um, a couple years into our marriage, and so we started trying to conceive, and Seven to eight months into that, I started to think of, um, started to think something's not right. Um, I'm doing everything that I feel like I should be doing. Um, the timing and doing uh, charting with my temperatures and everything and um, still just didn't get a really clear pattern. Um, and so I went back to the doctor. She did some tests, which included um, an ultrasound and she came back within about 10 minutes of that and said, well, looks like you have PCOS. And I said, what's that? Um, and so she said she noticed just a string of what looked like pearls um, along uh, my ovaries on both sides. And um, I walked out of the doctor's office devastated. She had explained that I didn't appear to be the natural um, or the typical patient that she saw with OS just because I wasn't overweight, um, which is uh, something that a lot of people do suffer with. But um, she she said I could I, I did still have it. Um, she wanted to do some blood tests to be sure, but that's how I was diagnosed. So I left that office devastated and just kind of determined at that point that I would do whatever it took um, to get better and, um, to hopefully have a family one day. And so, um, she immediately prescribed, um, metformin, um, which is, as many of you might know, or had heard of is, um, a drug that they give patients with diabetes. So I had to take a pill three times a day. And she also put me on Clomid, which is a fertility drug. So at the time I was like, yeah, let's do it. Um, she seemed confident that that was the typical thing that they do for patients with PCOS. So I didn't question it. Um, I continued with those medications for about five months, uh, five to six months, and still didn't see any improvement in my symptoms. Um, my ovulation was still not normal and um, of course we still didn't have a baby. And so I decided at that point just to kind of take another route and do some research on my own. I, um, I looked up a book. I can't, I, I feel their name is um, naturally knocked up. I can't remember the the name of the author now, but in that book, she talked about how we can use food um, and a healthy lifestyle to um, increase our fertility. And that book was not is not speaking specifically toward PCOS, but it does um, it, it definitely does help patients with that. So I decided at that time I was going to adopt a um, pretty strict paleo diet, which is a lot of meat, a lot of vegetables, um, all organic grass fed options with um, little to no refined sugars, um, carbohydrates, really, really sparingly. And so I started that in conjunction with just some moderate exercise that I did in the afternoon. The research I read said it wasn't great on your hormones to do it early in the morning, which was my typical routine. Um, and so I started to change that and do that in the afternoon. I just included just some as well as some strength training. 
And so um, I continued that. I coupled that with the use of essential oils, specifically um, clary sage, which I read a lot about that kind of works in conjunction with your hormones. And um, also did some castor oil packs in the evenings occasionally. And um, that was supposed to help get rid of the cysts. And so I was faithful to all of those things. And um, I... Uh, really just um, started to feel improvement in how I felt. I felt a lot healthier. Um, I could um, begin to notice some changes in my body. I still had a lot of the facial hair issues um, and just really tired still, but that gradually improved. So I made another doctor's appointment. We were continuing to try and try to conceive, but um, still we're not able to do that. And so this is um, about eight to nine months after I initially saw the doctor, I went back for another ultrasound and um, I went back and she looked at my ultrasound and there were, there were maybe one, I think there was one cyst on my left ovary. And that was a huge relief to me because going from so many cysts on both sides to um, just very few uh, was just a huge, um, a, a huge encouragement to me. So um, a month later, um, I found out that I was pregnant and um, had my hormones checked regularly because I was diagnosed with PCOS and those all looked great. Um, the doctor said, um, you're really healthy. Everything's wonderful. So um, obviously that was a huge blessing for us. And not only that, but I was just living a more healthy lifestyle. So um, I am just so thankful for um, oh, and I forgot to mention that when I started, when I started all of the diet stuff and oils and supplements, um, I stopped the Clomid and I stopped the metformin. And so when I got pregnant, I had been drug free, I guess, if you want to say that, um, I was not under, I was not using any medication except for supplements, if you want to call those medicine, but, um, I was not using any of those, had not been using any of those for I guess maybe six months um, when I got pregnant. So um, that was not the reason I got pregnant. Um, so, uh, and the other thing I mentioned, supplements. I took maca root powder. I would put that in smoothies. Um, it also comes in capsules. And I also did evening primrose oil um, supplement. And there were a couple others that I can't remember right now. But um, all of those things in conjunction were just a huge way that I began to uh, get healthier. So um, I now have a three-year-old and a one-year-old, and we are um, hopefully going to have more, Lord willing. And uh, so um, right now, I we're actually doing I'm doing a whole thirty diet right now, not a diet, um, but a whole thirty um, eating thing where. Um, just to kind of continue, get back on track after the holidays, I kind of got into more sugar than I should have. But um, I realized that PCOS is a lifelong condition. And if, if not controlled, can lead to diabetes, which does run in my family. So I don't want to get into any of that. So um, I'm still really sticking with a low sugar, low carb, paleo diet, um, and moderate exercise. And I have had regular periods, um, regular ovulation, um, and really just overall feel a lot healthier. Um, I do still have some of the facial hair, um, but it's much less than what it used to be. So, um, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's not nice to deal with, but, um, I just want to encourage any of you that are suffering from this, that, um, really do your own research. Don't just take whatever your doctor says for just that this is how it has to be. You have to be on medication. This is how it's going to be for the rest of your life. Um, don't just treat the symptoms with birth control. Get to the underlying issue. It's not how your body is supposed to work. And so um, you can do it. It's, it's, it's hard, but it's so worth it. And you'll feel so much healthier. It's not, you don't have to live with the symptoms that you're living with forever. Um, and so just an encouragement that, um, PCOS is not the end of the world. It's something they can control and you can still live a healthy life. So thanks so much for joining me today. Hope you have a great rest of the day.